Auburn University entered into a partnership with the Department of Ag and Industries here in Alabama to help Ag and Industries inspect and learn how to inspect farmers in the state of Alabama. And every state had that opportunity to um, be the inspectors instead of FDA coming in. And from our point of view, we're kind of down home Southern folks that we like Southern folks to do our stuff for us. So we thought it would be a much better to have in-state people, people from Alabama, inspecting people from Alabama. People that understand that we raise collard greens and lots of tomatoes and we make salsa, and, you know, all those kind of good things that so my job from the FISMA grant that we have, FS, uh, the Food Safety Modernization Act, but this is an FDA grant that helps institute that regulation to inspect farmers and to make sure that they're doing, raising their produce in a safe manner. We have done lots of training with farmers to get them GAP certified, which is good agriculture practices. It's expensive for the farmers to do that, and uh, it's been a trial to get a lot of the farmers to do that. We've provided them free materials, given them jump drives with all the files they have to file, documents they have to keep for getting their uh, GAP certification. And that's been a, somewhat of a help to them, but still they've got to go out and do the work and they've got to keep up with the paperwork. And there's a lot of paperwork with it. The Food Safety Modernization Act with the produce safety rule, not much different. They're a little bit less paperwork, but still lots of paperwork. For a farmer that has not been used to doing that, it's kind of an uphill slide for them. So our job is to help them with that. Uh, one of the regulations is they must take the Produce Safety Alliance training course, uh, which we've taught a few around the state. We will ramp it up a little bit more this fall. And we have the grant money from FDA to do it for free because those manuals cost about $50 and the certificate cost about $50. So, and then taking our team of people to do that training also costs money, but we have it all covered. So the farmer can take this training within the next five years when we have this grant for free. Um, one of the reasons we wanted to step in with Auburn University and the Alabama Cooperative Extension System because we have a network working with the farmers. We have a commercial horticulture team and a food safety team that we have worked together in the past doing the GAP trainings and the commercial hort people of course help them raise the right cultivars, learn about weeds and sprays and all those things that it takes to grow the plant. And then on the food safety side and food processing side, we help the farmers get their product to market. If you have too many peaches, we can teach you how to make peach jam. Uh, and even we've set up a center in Clanton to help do those kinds of processes, make jams and jellies and different kinds of foods that are limited processing. So we're doing everything we can here at Auburn University to help those farmers meet those guidelines and to get their products on the market.